Hi, I am Abhav from OMS Network Performance Monitor, also called NPM. In this overview video, I'll give you an introductory tour of NPM's capabilities. NPM helps you perform near real-time monitoring of network performance parameters such as packet loss and latency. It not only detects network performance issues, but it also localizes the source of the problem to a particular network segment or device to make it easy for you to locate and fix the performance issue. To give you a context of how the solution works, NPM uses synthetic transactions as a primary mechanism to detect and locate the network performance bottlenecks. The solution detects the subnets that are directly connected to the machines on which the OMS agent has been installed and uploads this information to OMS. All agents know the other agents that they should ping and note the packet retransmissions and route tip time that is encountered for each ping. This data is used to determine the packet loss and network link latency that is then uploaded to OMS aggregated by the service and presented to you on Solution Dashboard. Now, let us use the NPM console to conduct a simple investigation into the health of the network. On the overview page, get a quick snapshot of the health of your network by observing the Network Performance Monitor tile. Notice that out of the 59 subnetwork links, 33 are unhealthy. This warrants some investigation. Click on the tile to view the Solution Dashboard. On the NPM Dashboard, review the information and decide the area of investigation. The first blade shows you a summary of your network, the number of subnetworks discovered and their network-wise distribution, the number of networks, the number of network links, the number of subnetwork links, and the number of paths. The second blade provides a list of most recent health events. The third blade shows a list of unhealthy network links. The next two blades show top subnetwork links by packet loss and by packet latency. The last blade gives you a list of all the common queries. Clicking on any of one of the current queries will take you to the log search page. Now, let us drill down and see what's happening in our environment. On clicking on this network links plate, I'll get a list of all the network links that are present in the environment. Clicking on each of the network link would load its trend chart in the right side pane. I can see the trend for loss as well as latency. Hovering over that trend gives me the value and the time at which that value occurred. I can use this time selection control to focus on the required time range. I can also use these column headers to sort on the basis of the required metric. Now, I'll try to go and see what's happening inside these particular network links. Suppose I want to investigate this network link, I'll click on it and I'll click on the view subnetwork links button. I see there are, that there are two subnetwork links in FTP2 mail network link. So I'll investigate this network link because it seems like it has more latency. Now, I'll click on this to see the constitute node links of this subnet link. I see that there is only one node link. I'll click on view topology to view the topology of this node link. All the paths between the two selected nodes are plotted in the topology map in the right side pane. You can visualize the hop by hop topology of routes between the two nodes on the topology map. It gives you a clear picture of how many routes exist between the two nodes and what paths the data packets are taking. The last latency and the number of hops of in each path can be reviewed from the path details pane in the left hand side. Use the scroll bar to view the details of all of the paths. You can use the checkboxes to plot only one path on the topology map. Now, we can see the individual hops that constitute this path. And depending on which, we can also go to the hop and investigate which of the hops is causing the latency to increase. That is all we have for you today. Thank you.